It's Weatherman Dan here with a more comprehensive weather forecast for this week's rainfall event on the Australian East Coast. This is for now until Saturday the 23rd of the 8th. The ECM WF is a favourable model as of late and paints a better picture of rainfall distribution than most models for the days ahead. Between now and Saturday we also see the GFS indicate to the heaviest rainfall hitting the mid north coast and northern rivers of New South Wales. With the varying models including Access, GEM and ICON pointing to varying pockets of intense rainfall in and off the coastline between Sydney and the Gold Coast. The Bureau of Meteorology has reduced its 100mm plus forecast compared to yesterday but still sees considerable rainfall edging the coastline near the Illawarra and northeast New South Wales region. This week's rainfall kicked off this morning in Sydney as brisk southerly onshores began to track north between this week's high pressure in southeast Australia and the coastal trough that's forming along the New South Wales coastline this afternoon. According to the Bureau of Meteorology Synoptic, high pressure will continue to dominate the weather pattern in the southeast with a heightened frost potential for those inland. An upper level disturbance associated with a low in northern New South Wales makes its interaction with the coastline this evening, leading to a sustained weather pattern where increased moisture finds itself blocked by the forementioned high pressure. This weather pattern is expected to gain intensity as a week goes by. No east coast low is anticipated to form during this week's rain event and as of today's forecast, conditions are set to ease late Friday and into Saturday. So most widespread rainfall is expected to occur before the weekend, with the exception of the mid-north coast and northern rivers. It is in these locations where additional falls could surpass localities into the 100mm plus bracket. The high pressure system that makes its way into the Tasman is an exceptionally strong one, with Bureau of Meteorology models even raising its strength well beyond 1040 HPA. Although August is the typical month for seeing a peak in high pressure system strength, the value of 1048 HPA would far surpass last year's record. Eyes are on the Tasman Sea for the coming days to see what happens there. Rainfall will fall steadily along the New South Wales coastline Monday into Tuesday, with Wednesday seeing more widespread and intensified falls on the coast and into northern New South Wales. By Thursday, the south coast and central coast, the upper Hunter and mid-north coast will see heavy rainfall pick up, with such moving to northern New South Wales, southern Queensland and southeast Queensland Thursday night. This will continue throughout most of Friday. Refer to the image for these rainfall totals. Conditions for southeast Queensland will ease Friday night with potential storms still lingering in the wake of Thursday's falls. The mid north coast and northern rivers will see rainfall ease a little later on Saturday as a high in the Tasman weakens and the weather shifts ahead of a front further to the west. Thanks for following the video and talk again soon. Weatherman Dan.